Right, let's give this a go. Too fast. Kill off some speed. Kill off some speed. Too low. Too high. Too low. Hi, I'm Fuzzy Logic, and welcome back to Hitchhiker SMP. I thought I'd show you what I've been working on in between episodes. If you remember last episode, I built this wonderful pagoda, and I mentioned that I need to do a little work on the surrounding area. Well, I have. I just wanted to take a time to show it to you. This, I'm very pleased with. It's my first custom cherry blossom tree. I think they're called Sakura trees. I'm very happy with how this one's turned out, actually. It looks really lush. I'm hoping to build a lot more of them in this area to transform this forest into a more oriental feeling place. I already really enjoy walking through this space. The pond, the tree, the little bench, and some more Tory gates leading into the pagoda. Out the front, there's another little path, not quite finished, that then goes out back to the ocean. Overall, really happy with how this area is turning out. As I mentioned last time, I'm really outgrowing my little fishing hut over there. So I think it's time to get started on my main base. And this path should take me to the area I've been working on towards the meg base, which is going to be over there. So let's go take a look. Back up on the tree, you can see I've already started laying out the foundations of this build. It's going to take some time. It's a pretty big building. Before I even got started, I had a whole lot of chickens to go out of this area. And if you want to know why, go check out Red Gabs's video. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be one of my largest builds I think I've ever done. So I've spent an awful lot of time collecting all the resources that I need for this build. I'm not even sure. Well, enough. But we'll make a start and see how we get on. Just a heads up. This is going to be a time lapse heavy episode. Hope you enjoy.
still about five hours of building time in, and the first level is pretty much done. Let's take a look. So this is the front entrance, and as you can see, I've gone for a very, very oriental sort of style. There's going to be a big palace, and as I build more of the layers, you'll see it's going to be quite grand. In this courtyard area, though, kept it really simple. I might turn it into some sort of training area or garden. I haven't decided yet. But in the centre is a nice little fountain. It's going to enable me to dump off all of my items when I come back from a building project. Hopefully, they'll all spiral down to the layer below, which I'll show you in a little bit. Inside, there's quite a lot of space already. I've got two wings, and then we've got a whole part out the back here. So on the side here, we've got our sort of corridor, or sort of, sort of veranda, I suppose. Um, and I need to section off these two parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sort of more trapdoors to try and create a bit of a space. Um, if I do something like this, uh, boom, boom, and then like that, like that, like that, and I should do is end up with something like a screen door. Now, if I want the doors open, I can just move them across. But I think what I want to do with this one is have it fully shut. So if I place another one here, two, three, four, lovely. Um, Four, and then finally oh, it makes a nice nice wall I think that gives a really nice effect, actually. So I've just got to decide how I want those arranged, and I'll do that in a bit. I thought I'd also show you what my plans are for this rear section. One lonely little chest. And this is going to be the basis of my entire storage system for this season. Underneath the floor here is a little secret. And uh, if I just take this out, you drop down, have a little look. Once the items come down through the fountain, funneled into a sorting system, item filter, drop evator. And that's just going to load up into the single chest above. Open, that will probably be enough. But I'm not sure I'm going to get to that this episode. We'll see. I'm really liking how this is turning out. I do need to fiddle about with the floor. A little. I think it's a bit too regular at the moment, but I've got a few ideas in mind. Coming back around to the front, however, I spotted this in the distance. I think it's Gort's new game. So I'll take a break from building and go and check it out. So this is Gort's new game. Um, put all your stuff in here. Yes, even your elytra. Okay. Boom. Okay. All right. Welcome to Terminal Velocity. Read the book. Read the book. Okay. Welcome to Terminal Velocity, the game designed to kill you and take your money. Oh, nice. Pay one diamond block into the barrel for three attempts at winning the entire jackpot. Put all of your gear into the chest at the right before taking the elevator up the spawn platform. Set your spawn on the top before walking forward to automatically equip an elytra. You will drop down to the flight deck. Okay. Try your best to fly through the center of the target to win all of the diamonds paid by everyone. Uh, if you miss, you should die and elytra should automatically return themselves. But please try to check around. Be sure they do. Nine elytras in the dispenser. Okay. After your last flight, fly down here and return your elytras by throwing them into the elevator. Okay, that makes sense. If you win, quickly push both buttons next to the barrel to dispense the jackpot. Thank you for choosing Terminal Velocity. Please enjoy your flight. <laughs> nice. Okay. Diamond block for three tries. Ugh. Money. Easy come, easy go, I suppose. Well, I'm going to leave that there because I suspect this is going to take more than three goes. Oh, I did pay. I did pay. Yes, I did pay. I paid. Okay, three tries. Do, 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 Okay, uh, set spawn. Set spawn. Set spawn, set spawn, set spawn. Yeah, walk forward. Walk forward. Ow. 
Do I have a Lytra? Yes, I have a Lytra. Okay, and I have half a heart. Right. Three attempts. Turn around. Okay. My understanding is this hole is very small. Okay. Right, let's give this a go. Too fast. Kill off some speed. Kill off some speed. Too low. Too high. Too low. Gonna get through. Oh, first try. <laughs> Easy game, Gore. Easy game. Let's go. Right, let's go claim my reward. Who needs three tries? <laughs> This is where I die hitting the ground. Yep, professional gamer coming through. Six blocks! Whoop whoop! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, throw that in the in, throw that in there. Whoop. I hope they went up. Oh no, they didn't go up. Okay, let's try chucking it in the stream in the stream. L literally in the actual stream. What? Come on. There we go. I think I saw them go up. Hopefully, hopefully that went up. Well, that was easy. That was super easy. Now, understand, you can make it harder. Maybe we'll see. I ain't gonna push my luck though. I'm five diamond blocks up. Right. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I'm flying back in. I really love the look of this base, and I just want to keep going on it. I'm gonna get started on the second level. We'll see how it goes. Time for more time lapse. Another epic time lapse and pretty epic build. 
Welcome to my temple. I'm really, really proud of this. It's possibly the largest thing I've ever built. Um, and it's certainly the most detailed. And I'm really, really pleased with it. So very, very happy. Very happy indeed. Now I've still got a lot of terraforming to do out the front and around the sides. But for the most part, I'm really happy with how it worked out. It looks so imposing. And I really love the gradient on the roofs. And there's loads of space inside here. And while I've got some plans for this area, most of it is pretty unplanned at the moment. I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. Got all of the area down on the side wings there. And coming up into the main section up here, there's just so much space here. And it looks great. Now, if you have any suggestions about the sort of things I can put in here, please do let me know in the comments. Yeah, not entirely sure. I think some bulk storage might fit in up here somewhere. Other than that, lots of opportunities. I think it fits in so nicely with the rest of the area. Yeah, pretty chuffed, pretty pleased. Let me know what you think. I think that's uh, all I've got for this episode. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye.